I will talk uh, briefly about the uh, Bennett equation. Uh, it's relatively simple. Pretty much, it, it is an uh, uh, equation of uh, motion based on the based on the force that is purely radial. Pretty much, you can think it could be gravitational or um, uh, or Coulomb force. Uh, so we start with, uh, of course, second law of Newtonian mechanics, and uh, we think we know it's purely radial. Therefore, we get the radial acceleration and centrifugal force. For the detailed derivation of r double dots with o dire direction, you can check actually on the uh, rotation rotational free frame uh, reference frame, rotational reference frame, and uh, we can and that's one equation. And we have con a conservation of angular momentum. This I basically strictly follow the Wikipedia, um, so it's not the format I usually have. We do the d du d theta. We can uh, angular angular momentum is uh, r square theta dot. So pretty much v r and without the uh, without the mass. Um, so d u d theta uh, with a we define u as 1 over r. Then we end up, we do the simple algebra. We do du d theta and uh, multiply dt, dt over dt. Then we end up have this. This is a uh, 1 over theta dot. And this, do the chain rule. You just do the 1. Uh, then I get 1 over r square and r dot. We end up having this. We know that this thing, r square theta dot, is h, defined as angular momentum over mass. So, and then we do the second order derivative, similar things. We do the multiply dt over dt, and then we ended up with this expression. And we know that theta can be expressed in terms of u and h. Then we end up left with this equation. This is equation number three. We have plug two and three into number one. R double dot equals pretty much put everything here to the left hand side. We have this expression. Then theta theta dot equals from the equation two theta dot equals h u square since u equals 1 over r square. Then we substitute both quantities into here. Then we're left with this expression. And uh, we just need to tidy up pretty much. And this, and also of course we know that u equals 1 over r, so any r we just substitute it with u. Uh, r substituted with 1 over u. Therefore, we have this expression, tidy it up, and end up have the final answer, f, f equals uh, negative m h square u square d d d u d theta square plus u.